Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this is a relatively short video um, and it's a sort of an addendum to the video I put on uh, allowing me to produce a boat plot using my Hantec um, DSO 5102P uh, bench scope um, but I thought well, I wasn't going to let uh, let me be beaten by the fact that I've also got a rather nice uh, Hantec um, handheld scope, the DS uh, sorry, the 2D72, um, which uh, there is a video about this already on the channel. Um, I'll put a link below. Um, but the 2D72 is also capable of displaying this blowed plot. And I didn't think I was going to be able to do that because it just doesn't have an external trigger in. Uh, but what I've been able to do is actually uh, take the external trigger to channel 2. And by reversing, I'll just get the block diagram. This is what I was doing before. Um, what I was doing before was using channel 2 of the skin signal generator using that uh, 2 volt peak to peak ramp voltage to, to voltage control the sweep. I'm still doing that and indeed that top half of the circuit is still identical uh, feeding into channel 1 and ground and there's the, the tank circuit I'm using as a test. Uh, but I haven't got an external trigger on the 2D72 so I've fed into channel 2 instead and by um, playing around with the settings for a while I've actually managed to get what I need. The change I had to make to the signal generator, and it's probably best if I draw that, um, my bench scope was more than happy to trigger off a waveform that was shaped like that on channel 2. I've actually reversed that for, for the um, 2D72 so I've got a pulse and it slowly drops away and then I've got another pulse and that's what's triggering the sweep for both the scope and um, for the signal generator so that's essentially how it all works and as you can see um, she's ticking away nicely there so let's just uh, have a look at the details okay so here's the general arrangement um, and you can see the uh, 2D72 is displaying uh, the shape of the uh, boat plot there. Uh, so the way we've got this set up is we've got the signal generator here uh, with a, a reverse um, sawtooth pattern so it's triggering on the leading edge which is uh, off channel 2 so the output trigger is driving the VCO input of the signal generator but it's also driving channel, through, channel 2 of the scope and I've told the scope to trigger off channel 2. Um, channel 1 of the scope we've got the sweep output here and it's going down to the to the tune circuit, if I can just probably hold it there so you can see. And that's the signal generator coming in here. And the scope uh, probe is there, um, taking off the uh, the results of the of what, what it's seen in the circuit. And the resultant uh, plot uh, you can see there. Okay, so here's the Hantec 2D72 displaying the uh, shape of the uh, resonant response of the uh, tank circuit as I showed you earlier and uh, what you've got here you can just maybe just make out the green line of channel 2 and there's the, the sync pulse that comes from the signal generator and that's fed into channel 2 and I've told the scope to trigger off channel 2 so if we just hop into the trigger menu we've got source is channel 2 um, it's the rising slope trigger and when you switch this machine on it always default defaults to mode auto so you need to change that to normal which will allow the plot to always uh, display in the same place on the screen. So she's um, whizzing away there and again I don't know how well you can see it that I've set a cursor right at the very top uh, limit there just to um, uh, hopefully give us uh, a bit of an indication of uh, if I adjust the coil you can maybe see the change. So I'm just going to wind the coil ferrite slug up and as you can see uh, quite a change in response there there was the where it was originally and it's now down to there so we'll screw that back down you have to just be patient because obviously the update goes on every about once every second um, coming back up again so as you can see it's possible to display uh, what effectively is time and frequency uh, in in the form of a boat plot using 
the 2D72 and actually it, um, it works reasonably well. Uh, I've not been able to move that down so it looks a bit more like a spectrum analyzer but if you just ignore everything below there you can essentially see the shape of the filter. So um, there we go, uh, cheap and fairly simple handheld scope but it's doing the job. OK, well that's it for this uh, fairly brief video on the 2D72 being used to produce a bode plot, which hopefully you've seen it is doing, um, and attached using the cheap and cheerful Feelec uh, 6900 uh, signal generator. So hope that's acting as a little bit of encouragement to just see what you can get out of this test gear. Yeah, OK, I'm sure expensive and professional stuff is capable of doing this and there's probably even a special mode for it. Um, but as a hobbyist, um, trying to do this at minimum cost. Um, I'm sort of trying to push the boundaries a bit and I'm getting somewhere. There's no question I can use this to, to pick up uh, the resonant point on that coil and that means I'll be able to use this uh, to align radios. And what's particularly useful um, for, for me from that point of view is certainly one of the radios I've got has got a chassis which isn't at ground level, it floats above it. So if I try and use the conventional oscilloscope on there um, it'll result in um, me uh, shorting it to ground. So the uh, the advantage of the handheld scope, of course, is that the uh, outside of the coax is not connected to ground, and I'm able to 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 probe and use the chassis as a, on the radio as a ground without um, um, tripping anything out. That's the theory, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And um, if you have please click the thumbs up. If not, click the thumbs down. Either way, it'd be great if you could subscribe and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.